Hello, this is Keegan, and today I wanted to go over a collaborative whiteboard app and how you would use it effectively in your workflow. So let's jump into it. I'm going to swap over to the iPad and let's look at Bioboard HD is what it's called. So you can search for that in your in the App Store. Let's open it up. And when you open it up, you're going to see the option to add a new work zone and also the option over here to join a meeting of someone else's. So what we're going to do first is we're going to join a new one. So I'm going to open this up. And then what you're prompted to do as soon as you open a new meeting is to start it. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm not going to do a passcode, so I'm just going to say start without entering anything. Okay. So I'm given a meeting number and a few options here. And what I'm going to do is there's lots of tools here that you can use to mark up. So, so you can spell things out or do mind maps or whatever you need to do. But what's interesting about this is another iPad can get in here and manipulate this space uh, in tandem with me. So what I'll do is you can either share up here your, uh, oh, right here, you can share your board by inviting someone via email or iMessage. But what I'm going to do is I'll just use this meeting number here to get another iPad in this meeting. So let's do that. So let's get another iPad on the screen. Okay. And then I'm also going to watch launch by a board there. And what I'm going to do on this one is I'm actually going to join the meeting. And then it requires a meeting number and a passcode. Well, there is no passcode, so just the meeting number should suffice. And from that other iPad, here's that meeting number. So I'll type it in. 899 one six eight two one oh seven join okay so this iPad now is joining that meeting and what you'll be able to see are there are the marks that have already been made on this device on this whiteboard and on this iPad I can go in uh, and I can add more markings and as I add to one iPad, it syncs on the other one too. So you can actually go in and you can work over problems together or uh, I used to do something similar to this in chemistry where we would do go over our research after lab using something like this. And the other thing that's pretty cool though is you can go, so on this iPad I'm going to import a PDF is what I'm going to do. And I have my Dropbox connected account connected and I'm just going to load up a PDF document that was used previously. So it's importing this file and now this file is on this board and what I can do is since I have this hand selected I can open up that file and then on the other iPad I'll do that. I'll swap to the hand icon first and then I will tap on that to bring up the open option down here. So now what I have are PDF document that I can go in and I can actually annotate uh, in tandem on both both devices so I can add text. So whatever whatever edits I want to add if something is wrong or needs adjusted I can go in and change that um, as I need to and then I'll back out of that here and on this one as well. But what's cool about this is the application. That's what's cool about this. So there's a couple of ways I would suggest using this. You could either do it where you're in close proximity with someone and you wanted to write over the same document together while talking to someone. Uh, so this would be great for meetings or tutoring sessions or anything like that uh, as long as all the participants that want to be in on this have an iPad. The other thing I will propose though too is if you wanted to do this long distance because this isn't just bent on you being in the same room as long as you share the meeting number with someone either via email or whatever you whichever way you want to so I could just email this meet number to anyone so if if I'm say video chatting with someone and 
on the computer and we're both doing that on the computer and we both have iPads with BioBoard installed, then I can invite them to a BioBoard collaborative workspace and we can go and we can actually, while we're chatting with each other, we can go in and mark up a document. So essentially what you can do is you can write with someone who is on the other side of the world uh, and then if you couple that with video chatting via Skype or FaceTime, it makes for a very effective way to collaborate and way to communicate with one another because you've added that visual element where you can go in and do lots of interesting things. Now the other thing I'll add though too, so the participants do have to have an iPad if they want to collaborate, but there's another option built in here and if you go into the gear, which you can go into settings, you can actually turn web sharing on, which allows you to, so you can tap this to copy that link, and then you can email that out, and then if you copy that link, what you can do is you can send that link to someone and they can view, it's a view only, but they can view from a, a web browser on a computer, so you could still interact with someone that didn't have this on iPad, but it wouldn't be quite the two-way interaction that would make for a powerful collaboration experience. So, as I mentioned, there is the one caveat where this is an iPad-only tool at the moment. The advantage, though, is this is completely free. It doesn't cost anything, so you could start doing this immediately. All you need are participants with iPads and you're ready to go. Well, I hope you've liked this video. Leave a like or comment, subscribe, uh, leave any questions down below, and I will try and get back with you. Thank you very much.